Yo yeah, people, I'm back again. It's Real Issues with Ike Lewis. And uh, I want to really appreciate everyone who has been viewing my episodes, who have been commenting. They've, they've, they've really been of great help to me. And uh, those who have followed me on YouTube, thank you so much. Those who have liked and uh, followed my, my Facebook page on Baklui TV, thank you so much. Those who have followed me on Instagram at IkeLewis27, I want to say I really appreciate you. But if you've not already, please do that and you are going to really be grateful for for adding up yourself into these um, social media handles uh, last week I dropped uh, a video on forgiveness and I've really been getting some some um, feedbacks some people have been private chatting me and telling me their own story why should I forgive this person this is what this person did to me so I said okay let me come up with with um, forgiveness part two um, to that uh, for, for, for today and uh, and push it out for you to also hear this I'm going to be using some of these people's case study but I'm like I promised from the inception I'm never going to mention anybody's name it's a secret place and uh, we don't mention people's name so to the forgiveness issue now someone wrote me and said now you have a husband and the husband accommodates a lady in the house I don't know but maybe accommodates a lady I don't know if he's in the house right now or somewhere else accommodates but the word was the husband accommodates a lady and um, uh, you she went all out by herself perhaps the husband wasn't having a job or doesn't have something doing she went all out by herself take, took a loan of over a million era to get her a bus to get him a bus and um, to be balancing so that they can pay up the loan and uh, be getting money for the house but uh, apparently the man took the bus gave it to another driver to be balancing and when the driver balanced he uses the money to flex he uses the money to flex and uh, what he does all day is just to have sex, have sex with the lady he's accommodating and all that stuff. And uh, he, she was like, how do I not handle this? I should still forgive. This is what he does concurrently. Yeah, I know. Forgiveness is not for him. Forgiveness is for you. That is what you must know. If you keep on forgiveness in your heart, you may end up having high blood pressure. You may end up even dying and that person is still standing. Like I said, nothing is worth taking your life. It is not. But I want to advise, if this man continuously deals on this, on this road, why not just separate a little and let him uh, really live his life and you not to be frustrated and for you not to go think of taking your life? Separate a little. And let, let the man really feel like um, uh, the, the, perhaps he doesn't recognize or values the help that you're giving to him. He needs to know that you have really been of a, Retrieve that boss from the man. Let them be balancing you so that you can pay up that loan. And let him be. Just let him be. If you can separate, he will realize his mistakes. Because maybe by then there will be no money to spend on that other lady anymore and uh, by that time you you deserve peace you deserve peace you need to have your own peace I think that man needs to suffer a little for him to know that you are really pulling your strings as a lady I must commend you you are, you are a strong woman you, you have done well you have done noble but is this man of your heart forgiveness doesn't mean that it doesn't hurt Forgiveness doesn't mean that you, 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 you have to trust the person. You must understand that trust and forgiveness is a thin line. So you can apparently forgive somebody and not trust the person. But you need to know, say, you know go free trust person when you never forgive. You did get so. So forgiveness now for you, your health, your mental state. And if you can forgive, you can separate. Separation doesn't mean you've not forgiven. Separation doesn't mean you never forgive the man. Separation means that man, you need your peace, you need your space, you need your health, you need to get your mind back. That you mean. I hope that makes sense to you, madam. So, uh, 
um, you need to take care of your children. Take care of your children very well. You know, let any, you know, let this thing come and make your children come be like, say, man, they're not doing well again. But I think, say, that man need to suffer small. Make him realize, say, what you did do for him, you need to value him. That also, someone else spoke to me about her friend who they were so close as in besties, best of friends, they literally were acting like twins. They, you, you do a lot of things for this person, you guys dress alike and all that. You went all all way out just to make sure that this person is okay and uh, make sure that uh, the best comes out of you guys. But along the line, this person became like a backstabber went around saying stuff about you which were not true you you asked her and she was still denying it even when you had witnesses and all this stuff and to you you told me what you told me was you have forgiven the person but whenever you see that person it's like you're just boiling from inside and that shows that um, you never forgive the person we're finished because if you don't forgive this person, eh, you need to let go. Ego is out. It's not the easy. Like I said in the first episode, it's not go easy. But ego fits. You, you need to you see this forgiveness eh, now for your own mental state. It's for your own health. Now for your own um, um, self. Uh, self. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the word one want to use now. But practically, when you forgive and when you let go, you go de balance. High blood pressure on every day. When you see that person, you know they get that hyper distance. Say, man, I wish I could just squeeze this person now. Or you flashback. See, if you forgive, it not means that you don't forget what the person to you. And like I talked before, it's a thin line between forgiveness and trust. You feel forgive somebody fully, but it not means that you don't you you they trust the person or you will feel just trust the person. Trust now within the person need to end again by practical action, continuation of actions and actions to just win you back. You understand? So when you forgive somebody, now for yourself, forgiveness now for yourself. So whatever we do for this life, whatever we do for this life, forgiveness now healing. Forgiveness not me say the thing no pain, you know me say it not hurt you. Forgiveness not be feeling. Forgiveness now what things you they do divinely. Now God. And they create this thing for our heart. And if you forgive, even God will forgive you. You don't think how many times you don't offend God and God still forgive you. So take yourself, say you be God now for this world. And these people they offend you. Forgive them. Forgiveness is not key. Forgiveness is not healing. Forgiveness is not health. Forgiveness is not good life. Forgiveness they reduce high blood pressure. Forgiveness they make you live long. Forgiveness is not what you will do. And you know whoever regret for your life. Forgiveness is not maturity. The person will never come back and tell you say sorry. Sometimes they go, they argue, say, say eh, I don't know if I can beg up. I don't know if I can do this. If I don't wrong with myself, I don't leave. The fact that you feel forgive this person shows him that you mature past this person. And if the issue now waiting, go feel, go take your life. My guy, babe, waka out. Your life is more precious than any other thing. You understand? If uh, the forgiveness me say you know if you play with this person again you know say you will get your peace do I'm like that make sure you are mentally stable make sure you are okay clear these things off your head move ahead more things in this life where you need to enjoy forgiveness are key to a better life